It's been busy. We've been very busy. It's like, and then I guess like the longer you wait, the more your sort of influences change and stuff. Yeah, if you've been developing, I think. Yeah. Like, if that's what you want to call it. Right. Development. Yeah, just trying new stuff all the time, but like when you're doing that, the stuff you made a couple months ago or a month ago feels a bit out of date or the production feels like it needs reworking. You know what I mean? Like I think we had an album like two years ago, but we're like a lot happier this album now. Like it's kind of like, it feels like a second record in a way, doesn't it? Because yeah. like, we've just been trying new stuff out all the time. We kind of wanted to make like the scum world, so all the music videos kind of linked together, and we got all these characters. And if you listen to the album, like what you see in like the revolution and laid back video, kind of makes a lot more sense now. Do you know what I mean? Like when you open the vinyl, like I drew like a map, kind of like Grand Theft Auto again, of like all like the sort of places that we've explored in the album, like referencing in the songs and in the videos. So you kind of get this sort of picture now, like when mm -hmm. you listen to it. So I want people to listen to the vinyl and then look for it. You know what I mean? And like, it's like a lyric book, which is like a magazine. So it's kind of like got all these places in it and bits of artwork. So I think it links it together. So mm. It's like nice to have like a theme, isn't it? Yeah. Like a finished audio and visual thing. I thought I knew what I was doing with it, but then like when you're trying to put it all together, it's like, oh shit, I've got a lot more to do. Like focusing on different parts. Like, like so. Oh, the interludes kind of helped with that, you know what I mean? But like with the lyrics and the songs, it's it's difficult, but it's like it just took time, you know what I mean, to kind of get it all to. Because with the music as well, it's like it's not all over the place. But like the styles kind of change throughout the record. There's a lot of like hip hop stuff and like like more guitar things, and then it sort of goes around different places. When I first moved into 13, I think he was on tour with Blur in like North America or something. So when he came back. Uh, met him for the first time and then I like, started chatting about like, Essex and stuff and then got in with him a few times and not got with him, got in the room <laughs> with him a few times and yeah, like worked on the turn around mate and get over it with him. And it was good to like play on the record as I was making it because it kind of helped like steer like the direction because I, was, I wasn't lost of it but I was like, I want to try this, I want to try this and he was like, just go for it, you know what I mean? Like I think that's what took long as well because I was ex experimenting with like different styles and like did like a song called Lover's Law which didn't make the album in the end but that was a single. And at the time I thought it was cool but then when I mean, you listen to stuff in like hindsight yeah. it's like it's a bit shit. The studios are like like uh, two rooms next to each other and there's a glass wall like there's two glass walls either side so in the room next door they're making the Gorillaz record and it's like every day like nine till like seven they're in there like working on it trying new stuff out and it's kind of like inspired us to like be there every day sort of making music. Mm -hmm. I think that was like one of the latest songs to go on the album. And like, yeah, it's kind of just like looking around and like reading newspapers and stuff and pull it all together from that. You, you don't want Theresa May running the country, no. though, do you? Like, <laughs> and I think it's good to be like really direct with it, not to like yeah. pussyfoot around with all the politics. You just got to shout at everyone. Do that. Got some sweet guitar looks. Like, if I feel like he came in the studio, he came to the show with us as well, didn't he? Mm. He's just like such a chilled out guy. Like, yeah, he's and cool. all, like remember he was in a dressing room and he just like all the time started playing guitar and he was playing like coffee and TV. And like, like the guitar playing, that's like, mad, like all the different chords and shit. And it's like yeah. probably inspiring to see. Like, it's that. weird as fuck to hear that because it's like, it's yeah. what you listen to when you're like 10 to yeah. like. And then he's there. And it's like, what? Yeah, I think that inspires us. Like, it's nice that he's like giving us time, you know what I mean? Like he came to mm. the show and came to the studio of us, so it's like nice for him to do that for us. Nice.